Hello my little mushies! Welcome back to my channel, my name is Summer and I'm so happy to have you here! And today we're back with another bookish video! Let's get started, shall we? Okay! Feel me? Yeah, yeah, see my peanut butter jelly snack, pull it, ride, brushy, uh, painting. That's my sunshine when it's raining. That's my pool, yeah. Yeah, I thought it'd be fun to do a little book haul slash library haul. Um, I have recently subscribed to Book of the Month, and so I'm getting a couple new hardbacks, and then of course I go to the library at least once or twice a week. <laughs> And so yeah, I thought it'd be fun. Oh, and it was my birthday month last month, so I got a couple good books. I also got a new TBR card, so yeah, I thought it would be fun. Let's start with the library books. Okay, I've got four library books that I haven't talked about. And one of them, one of them is a historical romance, The Taming of Writer Caliban by Stephanie Lawrence. And oh, we got a ring light. Can we see it? Okay. I have recently started to get into, or not really get into historical romances. I don't know which romances I'm gonna like. So I kind of just went to the library, found a section that had historical romances on, and picked one up. Nightmare! And kind of just picked one up. Um, hopefully it's good. I don't, I mean, it had good, uh, like it had like a, almost four, uh, four stars on Goodreads. I think this is a series and I think this is book two of the series. So I don't really <laughs> read books in like order sometimes, especially romances. Um, this is a sinister novel. So that is what I know of that. Okay, next I just got this one today. Tried to put this on hold so many times, and finally I got it. Into the Drowning Deep by Maya, or uh, yeah, Mer, Mer, Maya? No, Mara Grant. And the reason I wanted this one so bad is it's a thriller novel, or maybe a horror novel, and uh. Gabby Reads talks about it on her channel during her, she reads four horror novel books. And this is one she really liked. And I believe it takes, it's a, it's a water horror novel. So I don't know much about it. I don't like to know much about uh, scary books before I get into them. So I just picked this up today and I'm very excited. I hope it is. I swear my cats just choose the worst time to get loud. Like all day they've been sleep sleeping as soon as I bring out the cameras. One trying to get into bags, the other one's scratching on her scratching post, which is fine, fine, whatever. But yes, so I'm very excited. I hope it is creepy and scary and makes me a little terrified to get into some water. Uh, yeah, so there's another library book that I recently got. The next one is Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danderful, fourth. I believe this is a another horror story that might be a dark academia. This one, and I have no idea what it's about actually. I just looked up Goodreads um, top rated horror novels and this was one of them. So uh, my library just happened to have it and I was like, yes please. So we, if you can't sense a theme, I have been in a horror novel. Uh, I've been wanting to read more horror novels. So yes, okay. The last library book that I got, the last one is Lore. This is a young adult by Alexandria Brecken. And um, for this one, I don't know much about, but I know it has been talked about highly on booktube and the cover is stunning. I didn't realize it was a young adult, but um, so when I had been searching for it, I wasn't looking in the right spot, but I found it and I'm excited to read it. You know, have no, I cl had no I clue 
no clue what it's about, but it has an awesome map in there. Let's see. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, it's about, so every seven years, as punishment for the past, nine Greek gods have to walk the earth as a mortal. And that's just the first paragraph of the little export. Export? So, is that what the story is about? Maybe. <laughs> we'll find out. So, yes. I just really picked this one up because the cover of Medusa. I'm obsessed. It's so nice. And again, talked very highly on YouTube about it. People talk, yeah. Oh my gosh. Is this a retelling of a Medusa story? Or like the origins of Medusa? If this is, I'm so excited. <laughs> I might read this right now. Um, what? That's gonna be awesome. Okay, okay. Hopefully that's what it is. I'm very excited now, like even more excited than I already was. And yeah, so that is the four novels that I got recently from my library. But let's move on to my recently bought uh, book haul. Yeah, okay, in no particular order, I'm kind of just gonna grab as I go. Um, one of the ones that I'm most excited about is a graphic novel uh, called Heartstoppers. Uh, first of all, this is talked so highly about on booktube. Everyone who reads it is like in love and um, I can't wait, it looks so cute. And so yeah, I got volume one and I would have got all the volumes if I had found them at uh, Barnes and Noble. So we'll just keep looking. But yes, this one is Heartstopper by Alice Oseman, and uh, it's gonna be a cute little romance. I can't wait to read it. Uh, yeah. And uh, so it says, boy meets boy, boy becomes friends. Or I'm sorry, boy meets boy, boys become friends, boys fall in love. And I, uh, yes, please, can't wait to read. I am gonna be obsessed. The next one I got is another young adult, and that's Fable by Adrian Young. This one is like a pirate voyage story, adventure story pretty much. She is trying to reclaim her title and honor pretty much after her dad like abandoned her and like I think said that she died or something. So she's going on a journey to reclaim what she believes is belongs to her from her dad. Yeah, so her dad like abandoned her the day after her mother died. So she's got some anger, okay? <laughs> Wouldn't we all? Um, the cover is also stunning. I don't know if you can tell, probably not, but within her eye is a ship and I just find that really cool. Um, I find weird things cool, I don't know. So, also it's on the Young Adult Reese Weatherspoons book club, and that's cool. Uh, yeah, this was one of the very first, because I'm new to all things book, all things bookish, except actually reading books. Um, this was one of the very first books I put on my uh, Goodreads want to read, to be read list. Yes, okay, next is a book of the month book, The Hunting Wives by Mae Cobb. This one is uh, April's, one of April's book picks. And this one's another horror slash thriller, but it has like the elements of rich wives um, kind of vibes. So like rich people problems, death, and just like, um, so rich people meets um, Hunger Games kind of thing. Not Hunger Games, not Hunger Games. Um, hunting party where they like hunt for sport. That's what I kind of got the vibe when I was reading the, what this one was about. Uh, it sounds very good though. Like who doesn't like to read about like, I don't know, maybe people don't, but rich people problems. 
I wish I had them. Not really. Like, <laughs> sometimes they're horrible. But, uh, I'm, I want to read about them. And this one just seems fascinating because, uh, we got some housewives who are bored. A murder happens. Did they do it? Did she do it? Did, what happened, you know? So, we'll just have to read and see. That too much. Next is another book of the month because I didn't realize you could get past books on book of the month. And that's awesome because I've been trying to get my hands on this book for literally months. And I almost bought it at Barnes and Noble, uh, like back in the beginning of March. But both of the paperback copies were damaged and I was almost like I was walking up to the checkout counter when I was like, you know what? Nope, I'm not gonna pay like full price for a book that is damaged. I know that might be silly, but also, come on, you're, they're not cheap, okay? Sometimes not even paperback. Anywho, I saw that they had it on Book a Month and I about screamed. And uh, yeah, it ended up in my cart along with House the Hunting Wives right away. So that is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. She is the author who did Daisy and the, Daisy Jones and the Six, and that book was honestly fabulous. One of the best books I've ever read, and I can't wait to read this one because BookTube also talks very highly of this one as well. And I think that she might become one of my favorite authors. Uh, I have to read a couple more of her books to find out, of course, but. Uh, I'm very excited to read this one. I don't know anything about it. I just know that um, I think we're, she, I believe Evelyn Hugo is telling her life stories or the husbands are telling Evelyn's life stories. Life story? I'm not sure, but either way, I'm fascinated. I'm fascinated about how it's gonna be written and yes. So I'm so excited to have my hands on this copy. It's beautiful and it's a hardback, so win-win. <laughs> Next is Outlaw, which is by Anna North. And this was on my March TBR, but I never got to it, and I still haven't gotten to it. Um, but this one is about, oh yeah. This one takes place in like the Wild Wild West in America in like 1890s or something like that, 1894? Yeah, I was right, 1894. And the main character, Ava, just gets married and she can't get pregnant and in this time in this time if you can't get pregnant they believe you are a witch so she takes off with a um outlaw group and kind of fights for her right not to die from being not able to have a baby um i'm so excited to read this one i i don't know why i haven't picked it up yet but uh, we'll get there, trust me. <laughs> the next book, the next book is another book of the month, and that is The Final uh, Arrival of Opal and Neb by Dwayne Walton. This one is a talent, like it's, um, Opal is a singer-songwriter in the 70s when a lot of things were happening and she goes to war, I think, with another band on her label who uh, waves the Confederate flag proudly, um, and she's like, no. And so some tensions build, and now, years later, they're thinking about going on a, um, what is it called? A, uh, a reunion tour. And I think they're just kind of reliving their past and talking. And this is going to read similar to the way Taylor uh, Jenkins reads Daisy and Daisy Jones and the Six reads, I believe. We'll see. But um, I'm very excited. This one sounds amazing, and I and one of the and is one of the reasons I signed up for Book of the Month. Okay. Next is another Book of the Month and also has a beautiful cover and that's the last apothecy um by sarah penner 
I got this one because it reminds me so much of the story that ba Bailey Sarian tells on her murder mystery makeup about a real lady in history who uh, is responsible for maybe over 600 deaths of husbands who just were bad men, I believe, and it was a poison that uh, she would sell to wives who really were in need to get out of the marriage, and she got away with it for a really long time. This one reads like as if, a, like kind of, like it has a similar vibe to that, where the historian is looking into this, pa this, this lady from the past who had a potion that she would give to people to give to their husbands. As she's researching this story, she finds out that her husband is cheating on her. And um, I think she might contemplate using this potion on him. Uh, is potion the right word? Poison. I think I'm meaning poison. Uh, so yeah, this one sounds amazing and I can't wait. And also I really, really love the cover. Next is one that I'm so excited for and that's the second installment in the um, Athena Girls Club. And that's not the full title, but it's a long one. Uh, it's the European Travel for the Monstrous Gentlewoman by Theodora Goss. And the first book, The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter, was so good. I'm talking so good. Five star read, like, so good. Funny, uh, the writing style was so unique and fun to read. Um, it kept me in there the whole time. Now this is a monster of a book. I think it's like 600 pages, but I, I don't care. I'm sure it's gonna be one of those ones that I just won't be able to put down. Um, I've talked about the first book a lot in my past videos. I cannot wait to read this. This one I've working on for my birthday and I'm so excited. So yeah, <laughs> like I can't wait for, oh, I'm so excited to have this one. Then we have got, um, we have got a historical nonfiction. Yeah, historical nonfiction, and that is Sin in the Second City, Madame's Mister or Ministers, Playboys, and the Battle for American's Soul by Karen Albert. Now, uh, this one takes place in Chicago, and it's in a very famous brothel in America, and I'm obsessed with brothels, madams, all that kind of stuff. She's the same author that has that was that wrote um, American Rose, um, The Lives and Times of Gypsy Rose Lee, and I, I'm currently two chapters away from finishing that. So uh, I'm very excited. This one I think I'm gonna love even more. I bought this copy because I want to highlight and mark and. Um, take notes as much as possible. Uh, something that Karen does is puts like pictures in her books of the people and times and you know, just things that were going on there. So just flipping through this book, I can't wait because they've got, you know, pictures and just everything historical, especially when it comes to like brothels and clubs and like, um, the, uh, that like, that 1920s, 1930s, 1940s kind of time period, I'm so interested in, so, yeah, I got this, and thank you, you guys. So, yeah, I'm very excited to read this, very excited. Okay, I also just got today the Bridgerton, Bridgerton? Bridge Garden, the Duke and I, am I saying that right? The Bridge Garden, the Duke and I, by Julia Quinn. And I've been seeing this one all over uh, Netflix, clearly. And I thought it'd be fun to do another little um, book versus movie. So yeah, I saw this one at Target and I bought it today. So yeah, 
Okay, and then last but not least is one that y'all, my camera cut off, so anyways, last but not least is one that I'm so friggin' excited about, and that is Horror Store by Grady Hendrix, and um, he is my favorite horror novelist, novelist? Yeah, and <laughs> this one is definitely a different vibe uh, from what he normally, like, like the whole thing is definitely like, it's almost like a manual. The book feels and looks and is like presented like a manual to build furniture. Uh, I just like very unique books, so, and I love Grady Hendrix. I think he is a fabulous horror novelist, and so I'm very excited for this one. Um, I own now three of his books, and I'm trying to get my hands on all of them. I've already pre-ordered his newest one that's coming out in July, which is called The Last Final Girl, and that, I realize, is a trope that I'm kind of obsessed with. I read Final Girls by um, Riley Sager, and I was like, I didn't know that this was a trope that I'd be so into, and I was really into it. So I can't wait for his his version of a Final Girls trope book. So yeah, I'm excited to read this one, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Officially, that is it, of my little chaotic library slash new books haul. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and Thank you for watching. Um, it would mean the world to me if you liked and subscribed. And whether your sun is glowing, your sun is glowing, okay. Whether your sun is shining or your moon is glowing, I hope you have a very, very peaceful day. And I will see you next time.